Patrick Wojdek and I attend Full Sail University in Orlando, Florida. I'm currently in the recording arts program and have a strong desire to continue work in the audio industry as a producer, recording and mix engineer, and later a mastering engineer in the audio industry. As you can tell, that was uh, none of that was recorded at Abbey Road, but uh, that was uh, produced and engineered by me. Um, so, so I am trying to to get make my way to that point eventually, and hopefully, maybe one day get to Abbey Road. I'm doing a topic discussion on Abbey Road Studios and what the studio has on popular trends in the current audio industry. I believe that Abbey Road should be studied closely because the studio has a very rich history starting before the Beatles and continues to record cre current creative artists as well as putting forth new and interesting topics built for the audio engineer and producer and artist. I find that art has taken a huge hit in the pocket as artists are not fairly paid for the music they produce, so I would like to make sure that some sort of history is preserved. Impact that Abbey Road Studios had on me directly is that the studio was home to the Beatles, Pink Floyd, and Queen recording history, and I am a fan of all of their music, so it benefited me in my years of growing up and listening to those bands and their style as it was recorded in perfection at Abbey Road Studios. If we now if we go to their uh, let's see if we <clears throat> we go to the Abbey Road Studios website, you get an idea of what they're still about um, billing themselves as the most famous recording studio in the world you can still you can see that they still have their finger on the pulse of the recording industry as they give talks on mastering general news that's happening in the studio some history lessons regarding George Martin where are we here uh, who is the famous famous Beatles producer the impact this re particular recording studio has had on me will never will be never ending as some of the more prominent albums that I hold dear to my heart were recorded in the very building. In particular, I've stated before in a blog post of my own on WordPress. And if we get back to that WordPress, that uh, in, in my blog here that you'll see uh, the, the top is, is the general blog and, and the bottom link there would be for this particular blog where this um, quote shows up from my blog. The Beatles were innovative in the studio as well, <clears throat> using the time in the studio to create effects that traditional instruments would not be able to produce. <clears throat> According to Ian Vargo from the website The Pro Audio Files, George Harrison recorded his guitar part backwards and then when played forwards fit the atmosphere of the song they were working on. Additionally, the technicians placed the microphones closer to the drum kit to give the drums a larger-than-life sound. Undoubtedly, the experience of being at Abbey Road Studios where technicians wore lab coats provided the Beatles with an environment to create and subject experiments to their imagination. Now going back one, uh, you can see that uh, the famous Abbey Road um, cover of the Beatles album, this was even taken outside the studio. So even the outside is famous, not only the inside. In conclusion, um, the studio is truly a work of art in itself and remains a work of continuing art. I hope that the studio continues on and continues to design the future of the audio industry as I hope to one day visit the studio as an engineer at some point in my professional career. Until then, just keep letting it be.